Good morning, you lovely lot. Welcome to Thursday's edition of Wake Up Call. My name is Craig Laird. It's so lovely to have your company all day today on the presenting side. You know, it's always nice to have a little bit of a, a play, a little shot at the presenting side as well. But of course, with today on Crafters TV, what we've got is we've got our three shows coming up. First one, of course, you're watching right now is, of course, Wake Up Call. We have then got an incredible craft along coming up as well. And then, as I always say and I don't shy away from it my favourite show of the week it's Cartload, it's action packed it is very very busy and the main reason I love it is because you get some of the best deals ever when it comes to Crafters Companion products now I'm not doing it on my own, thank the lord I'm not doing it on my own I have got the beautiful, the gorgeous the most talented lady oh. who's always got my back I am so glad that uh, t today's my last day before I have a, a little bit of a break and I'm over the moon to be having my last day with Debbie Aww. before I come back, of course. So good to be back. Just to clarify, <laughs> yeah, any of these back. Facebook pages out there, you know what ones I'm on about. I am coming back. I did say it last week as well. I've not been sacked. I'm not leaving. <laughs> not quit. Nothing like that. So before those group starts... I am coming back, <laughs> uh, but of course, yes, just uh, for a little bit of an operation, but yes, Absolutely. so good, Debbie, yeah. to be on with you. You know what, Craig, I'm thrilled. I mean, he he good morning, everyone, for a start. It is going to be an amazing day. It I is. love the Gnome Collection, collection. but having the day with you, your last day, um, it's going to be very sad to see you go, but we will hold the fault for you, Craig, I until know you you're will. back, and I, I know, uh, and in fact, what we need to do is make sure he doesn't come back too soon, uh, <laughs> because, yeah, that, you're, you'll be on the naughty step <laughs> yes yeah you, you, you know me all too well you absolutely. know me all too well yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. you know you, me you, you know me you know me absolutely Johnny's on the ball today he's on the ball he's on, he's on the ball oh it's going to be one of these days oh it's going to be one of those days I might not be back in September you never know um, <laughs> yeah be careful yeah, step I know, today, um, Debbie you've got the gnome collection I have got the gnome collection and do you know what we always think of gnomes and I always like to call them gonks, actually. Um, but and, and there is a reason, because gonks, you can't normally see their eyes. But with these ones, uh, what you've got is all these different embellishments that bring these lovely characters to life. And who says you can't have a gnome no. all year round? I mean, look at this. What a beautiful wedding card. You can turn these gnomes. You've got a girl and a boy. You can turn them into whatever you want. They can be your hobbyists, whether they're fishing, whether they're doing the barbecue, whether they just want to hang loose uh, and go on the swing there so beautiful designs and I'm going to show you this one because I'm quite proud of this and I love this card this is the card that we are going to be making in craft along today uh, and I've been very naughty because you know how we normally let you wait maybe a few weeks about a month before the new launch things come in to do a craft along I've actually because I did them last week um, I've actually uh, included them in here but don't worry if you have haven't got them because they only launched last Thursday so if you haven't got the nesting frame dies you can use any nesting frames you that you've got so it's not a problem but if you have got them uh, or they're coming in the post this is something that you can uh, work your way up to Absolutely. doing save the show you can watch it back I just love craft along is one of my favorites I know that cart loads yours I'm the opposite to Craig so I love the fast paced of shows but I actually love you the do. relaxed feel of a craft along because I feel like we do it in your time yep. uh, we do everything just in stages uh, and it's just a really nice come into our craft room craft along with us uh, and it's a nice show it really is yeah. you know and, and you guys you love it as well you tell us uh, you know day after day week after week how much you love the craft Awa awards. award so, you know, winning award, award winning. winning absolutely it was for sure uh, right you know, we uh, it's not just myself and Debbie today we've got another legend in the house who let me tell you until last week I didn't realize loves roller coasters as much as I do it's of course Jamie <laughs> Rogers from Creative Expressions. Morning, Jamie. Good morning. How are we? I am very well. We are very well. How are you? Good. I'm good, thank you. Very pleased to be here. Good, good, good. Uh, you've got lots of exciting things coming up, haven't you? Some brand new things for us. 
do, yes. I'm going to be sharing with you today my in and out dies. And these are an on the edge concept die wow. with a nesting shape. So we can play with them. We can create edge effects with them like this mini album. Okay. We can also do fold back effects with them like this card here. So it, all of your double sided papers can come in really handy to create effects such as this one. How fab's that? We can also use them to frame our dies as well and create on our edge style cards like this one here. Wow. And then I'll also be sharing with Ooh, you. New York. Ooh. It is a bit of a cityscape. I know you're mm -hmm. a fan of New York. Well, I love New York. And then I'm also bringing you Gilded Touch from Cosmic Shimmer. <gasps> now, these are amazing. These are a really detailed, high mica gilding wax, but a water-based gilding wax. So none of the nasties in them, and we can go in and be real precise with them. We can also do lots of different techniques with them, including okay. painting with them. Wow. And making our backgrounds, too. So lots and lots we'll be talking about with those as well. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's fabulous. Now, here, usually, you'll probably know by now, we would uh, tell you the, the main collection with uh, those fullbacks. These are selling really well already, but so is the Cosmic Shimmer. So I'm giving you a heads up right now, you know, whether you are uh, wanting to go with some of them, all of them, it's entirely up to yourself. Get across onto the website. I always say it with Cart Road anyway, shop ahead across on our website, you know, crafterscompany.co.uk.com.eu. That's the place that you want to go. Check out Creative Express. Uh, items from Jamie Rogers as well, but we'll be seeing them very, very shortly and what you can be doing with them. But while you're there, across on our website, what I, what I want you to do is uh, check out the sale. You know, we've still got the uh, summer, let me get this right, summer sea sun sale. I tried to memorise it after um, watching Debbie yesterday. And I have to say, you know, you can quite get it right sometimes. Johnny can't get mm. it quite right. And I just thought, I'm going to write it down because I won't get it right yeah, either. Yeah, I can today, Craig. Can you? Summer sea sunset. Go figure. Go Summer figure. Summer sea sunset. I know. When you, when you yeah. don't need to do it, it's there. It is, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's the present side. It's the pressure. <laughs> uh, new lines added all the time. And just to let you know, though, that is still running up until Sunday. So the 3rd of July. So you've got time to check that one out. Have you got your newsletter? Always remember, daily, you're going to get a Crafter's Companion newsletter if you signed up to it across on our website. If you have, you may find a peel to reveal. So there's going to be a code coming through in your newsletter that you are uh, going to... Can I see the discount, Johnny? Yeah. So you're going to get 10% off using the code that's on the peel to reveal. Now, I have to say, it's not on the sale item, not in the summer sea sun sale. And the code is one, one use per customer. And you need to use them by 11.59 your time tonight. So it is a one use code. Check out your newsletter. If you're not signed up to our newsletter, get across on our website, sign up for that one. It's free. You're going to get a head start. It's just new lines, new products that are launching on Crafters TV and benefits as well, such as the peel to reveal. So check that one out. Are we ready for some GNOME action? Let's do it. <laughs> if you never got your hands on the GNOME collection when it first launched, which actually launched on the 19th of May, you have got your opportunity to grab hold of it. Now look at this beauty. And guess what? Paper pad is still available, which isn't something you'll always see when we bring in a collection. This is the Garden Gnomes collection. Stamps, dies, stencils, paper pad and more. Absolutely. Today's price, if you're not in Club Inspire, is going to be $66.99. If you are across in the United States of uh, America, that's $82.85. So that is giving you a 20% savings. Everyone gets that, unless you're in Club Inspire. Club Inspire, and if you're platinum level, that's going to come down to $53.59 or $66.28. If you are across in Europe, you're going to be €94.92, just to let you know. Uh, but you've got such a lovely selection here, so bright, so vibrant. And as Debbie said, who says gnomes have to be all about Christmas time? So if you never got your hands on these when they launched on the 19th of May, now's your opportunity to get a hold of them. Don't worry about the craft along Yes, it's live coming up later on in the day with Debbie, but what you will be able to do is go back time and time again, like all of our shows on Crafters TV, and you can craft ahead uh, at your own level. Some people don't always necessarily craft along live. They tend to wait till it's done so they can pause it, reverse it, do all the different things that you like to do at your own speed. So you can do it whenever you want. If you're buying it today, once it arrives, you can then get a head start with your craft along by following along with what Debbie's doing. 
but we need a little bit more idea. We need to see exactly what we're going to get and some inspiration. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to go to uh, the gorgeous lady in pink with uh, some ideas and inspiration. I know. It's nice and summery today. It's really humid today, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? Very warm. So yeah, I thought it was a pink kind of day today. Um, so let's just uh, show you some of the samples that you're, you you uh, can make with these. Uh, and talking about samples, I just wanted to say, and Jamie is still in the studio. Uh, ja we're very lucky to have a design team that do our samples. Jamie does all of his samples, he does, yeah. and they are so amazing. So I can't wait to see what he's got in store for us today. Um, but what I love is the first first time we've done a pad that has a specific part where you've got background papers mm -hmm. uh, and I love that about this paper pad it's just beautiful uh, so uh, definitely get multiples of that paper pad being able to create really sweet cards like this so uh, home sweet gnome I mean just that play on words is uh, really amazing uh, this was me saying that when I was on holiday not long ago uh, but I love the fact that you've got all those little accessories the best thing about these is is that none of the gnome dies and stamps have little hands all the hands come with those accessories and you put them into place uh, wherever you want them uh, same with this little swing one you know having the hands on the side of the swing holding that is just amazing another one with that background oh, so you're able that. to put those uh, and that's quite a really relatively easy card to make uh, and then this one here I just love I want to show I know I showed that earlier uh, there's no one like you I mean how just beautiful is that card I think in this collection there's something for absolutely yeah, everybody um, and there's something quirky about the gnome so uh, which is lovely it's so, kind of saying yesterday we we're on about how the masquerade ball would work well for weddings mm -hmm. these ones would as well with the sample you just showed there but completely different from masquerade ball yesterday to the gnomes today but you can still use them for different occasions absolutely yeah and just mix and match them which is amazing what I love about this we've got a different elements in this collection as well so if you've not seen the gnome collection before there's a beautiful embossing folder and actually like Craig said mixing and matching collections this one is a great one you've got the background folder but you've also got the stencils that really enhance this you've got two stencils with this one uh, you can use them or choose to use them or choose not to use them however you want to do your embossing so the first thing we're going to do is take just a piece of our regular all per I say regular it's called all purpose so it's not just regular cardstock it's amazing amazing cardstock, great for stamping, embossing, card making, uh, everything you could think of, die cutting. We're just going to place that into our folder. But before we do, I want to do a technique called letter pressing. Okay. Uh, Craig showed it yesterday in one of his shows. It's one of my favourites to do. And it's one of those things that's so easy but so effective. I'm just going to take my regular, now I'm using the water reactive die. Um, it's just uh, in Oasis. And we're going to apply this directly to the inside of of our folder and all I'm doing is just swirling it round uh, you can hardly sort of see it there but you will see it when you when it comes to going onto the card uh, I'm not being too fussy I'm just making sure that we've got that ink down just swirling that over and then all I'm going to do is lay my card on the opposite side so we can then flip over the top part I've left a little rim I always do that with embossing because I always think you can trim it then to size rather than it go a little bit wonky like mine just went then but it doesn't matter because like I say we can trim it but can you see we can now see that blue going between Look the lines that, yeah. and then all we're going to do is run that through our machine I don't know what you've done with the... Um, I'm blaming you already. Don't blame Craig. me. Don't blame me. <laughs> um, I, I can't find uh, any um, uh, Gemini um, Junior plates. So I don't I'm know. coming across. I'm coming across. I'm coming yeah, across. Come oh, are they there? <laughs> See, see, see where we've got all our Gemini plates? All our Gemini plates just here at the side here. So, That's where they are. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. You're welcome. Uh, do you know what it is? I'm used to them being over here. Uh, so actually, if, no, no, no. If we was to out Craig, which I won't do, of course, there's a box that says Gemini plates, Gemini I Junior didn't put plates. them underneath there. Well, you were here yesterday. They were there yesterday <laughs> when I came in. <laughs> To be fair, I'm with you. Who, I, I, who I was like here the day for Michelle? That's Michelle yes, then. It's Michelle. It's Michelle's yeah. fault. Let's blame Michelle. Let's blame, blame Michelle, Michelle then. Yeah. Uh, but in all honesty, Craig's right. I just didn't look. 
So, uh, but we've got. <laughs> but no, got in all honesty, I'm with, with you. I would have them at the side of the, the top that says uh, Gemini I plates. I couldn't see them in there. So <laughs> look at this. It's just take this off, and you'll be able to see how amazing that is. So to get an embossed detail wow. that comes out like that is incredible. It never. There's never not a wow factor. No, there's not. Is there? there? It's such a great one to do. Now we're not going to stop there though, because obviously we have the stencils to be able to put these on top. And all you do, what I love about stencils with embossing folders, they almost sort of lock into place. You can sort of feel that ridge because mm -hmm. it's been embossed. And bearing in mind, this is um, a 2D a 2D embossing folder. So it doesn't have those real curved edges. No. It just has that level that goes up and down. So actually to enhance that with a stencil is amazing. So I'm going to bring in, so first of all, I'm going to bring in my straw bow uh, and my lemon tonic Ooh. because I want to sort of, because the sun is brighter, obviously, in the centre, I want to bring in and use, I'm going to bring in my ink daubers. I don't think we have them in stock. So apologies for using yeah. them if you don't have them. I think they're um, still out of stock at the moment. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so apologies for that. But it is the easiest thing to use. But, of, you know, we do the ink applicators. Just be a little bit more careful uh, where you're going through with those. So I'm going to start off, first of all, with the brightest colour. So we can put that right in the centre. I've got up. a bit of a dirty dauber. But dirty dauber. <laughs> dirty dauber. Dirty. Um, and then we're, um, we're going to put this uh, round the outside. So just bring it in. And the reason I've got the lightest then yellow, because obviously the sun then gets lighter. So it's nice to be able to put that really yeah. bright. So you could add uh, more detail. You could add your sort of um, uh, oranges to that as well. Or uh, uh, the name's got it. And my head, Craig, what is the next one up from... Um, from the lemon tonic? So straw bale, straw lemon, bale honey, lemon tonic. Honey pot. What is it, sorry? Honey pot. Honey pots, that's the one, yes, honey pot. So mm -hmm. it'd be quite nice. You could do it in those three shades if you do have all of the yellows. Yeah, I'm normally really good at remembering those, but I couldn't remember that one. See um, how um, you're, you're adding that in, Now, I know, uh, forgive us that the, the daubers are out of stock. Do put your email address in. You'll be alerted when they're back in stock. Um, what is it that you love about the finger daubers? I know you love the blending tools as well, but what is it it's about your preference with the finger daubers? Yeah, I do always use them, yeah. yeah. The reason being is because they get into the smallest gaps. Right. They don't, they're very good at not leaving any marks because they are just really small. They're great for stencils. I mean, really good for stencils. Just being able to sort of use them where you want them. Um, it's the precision, I suppose, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And also, they're at your fingertips, literally. That's true, true, uh, yeah. You've got all those colours at your fingertips. So, yeah, please keep an eye out for them because we do get them in. Um, they do sell out time and time again. So um, when they do come back in, we'll be sure to let you know um, and then grab them while you can. Could be Debbie Dobberhand. Debbie Dobberhand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look how that's transforming that. everything, which looks amazing. And you're getting that precision every single time. Uh, let's switch that out a bit now. So we've done our sun. Let's bring in. Uh, we can put some clouds in the background, uh, which are already there. But it means by adding that over the top, I can bring back in that oasis that we've already used. Mm -hmm. But this time, just by, I'm just going to do a really light touch around the edges. Because I still want them to be quite white. Yeah. But I just want to add that extra detail. Uh, and bring that sort of sky uh, back into there. So when we take that away, it just blends all of that Isn't into that those, uh, which looks amazing. Uh, and then our last one we're going to use is for our scenery. So I've got, again, using all water reactive today, we've got our spring meadow and our grasshopper. And Stop. then we can bring that bottom piece in, lay that over the top, and then just create that stunning scenery. Uh, and I think what this does, Craig, it makes us be the artist that we always inspire to be, or it does. inspire to be. It really, um, really does. Because I'm not an artist at all. No, nope, me neither. Draw? I, I don't, mm. See, I can't draw. I can't, I can't draw for draw. toffee. I, I can draw by copying. Yeah. So if I was to see an image, I would be able to copy God, that God, Debbie, image. that's like me. Ah, OK. I can do that, yeah. yeah. And I love doing that, but it's not actually being an artist, is it? It's copying. I've not got a good memory of remembering sort of how where things are mm -hmm. i know it's like perspective that's and, it yeah. exactly i just haven't got that perspective in my yeah. head for that so uh, but if i can see it then i can you draw can it. Do it yeah 
I'm actually, I'm, I'm glad you're using the stencil off the bat because uh, I've noticed that previously in, uh, on social media and that some people said, oh, my, my stencil doesn't fit, the one with the clouds and the, the, the ground. Oh, I think okay. At first you think all you're going to do is lay that stencil over the top yep. and it fits perfectly. There's nothing wrong with it, you know, it's designed the way that's on purpose, so those clouds are slightly higher up yep. than the ground. So all you're doing is what Debbie's doing and just moving the stencil about. Yeah, good point, Craig. And actually, the reason that it's done like that, because in perspective, clouds are in the sky, yeah. your scenery is at the bottom. So if you just wanted to use this stencil to make a nice scenery, you can do that. Yes. But actually, when you want to follow these, Look at um, that. it looks amazing, doesn't it? Really <laughs> lovely. So. <laughs> <laughs> So Johnny and George are saying it's like Teletubby land. So. <laughs> Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to pop that to one side because now we're going to bring in some of the dies and stamps. There are some really fun dies and stamps in this collection and additional stencils. So stencils such as this one, uh, which looks, this one always reminded me of, um, I can't really see it, let me bring it, there we go. Uh, the actual, I can't really put it on a piece of white card, that wasn't very <laughs> clever, was it? Let me just Love that detail against <laughs> that white card. I mean, look <laughs> at that. Hey. Hey. Uh, these remind me of plant pots, which I think is quite funny, but it actually is for the dresses, Bell and ben. Uh, for the for the lady gnomes, and, and then you've got for the men as well to do their sort of uh, shirts. Uh, so these are great, but actually, if you could, you could make a flower pot out of these as could, well. You, yeah. uh, so let's pop them to the side. We're getting our dies here. We're also getting our, sta our stamps. Uh, I love these ones, Craig, because I'm a real lover of what I call outline dies, mm -hmm. because you can see the whole image. Yes. that you're going round on which I think makes a massive difference it also means we can take our stamp and, st and stamp them down uh, without having to worry about where we're going to cut it yeah. out uh, and the same with this one so let's take these and you'll notice if I put this one down can you notice you've got the feet here you've got the hands now that sounds a bit that looks a bit strange this one but actually what it is and you do get the die for it it's the hands for the swing so that goes behind the gnomes and then you've got your hands holding onto the swing each side so very cleverly thought out so let's pop that one on to there uh, and the same with this one as well so if I just bring this one in this is the one where you've got all the different pieces so you can see no hands on the actual no, gnome no. but you've got them on the the fishing rod there you've got them on all the tools for the barbecue look you've even got the hands on the guitar so yeah, it's playing it's little, well probably banjo more the guitar um, so all these different elements you are getting in there so just to start with let's stamp out these two pieces so Johnny's laughing because I called it a banjo but actually it's because because banjos are smaller, aren't they? Uh, I don't think that's a... Um, oh, actually, no, no, it could be a guitar as well, well I suppose, for the size yeah. of the gnome. I was just thinking it looked very tiny. Uh, but compared to the gnome, it probably is a guitar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a ukulele, Or a ukulele. Uh, do, you, do you know, I, I'm pretty sure who would know for sure as well is, is uh, our boss, Jenny. Because she's an incredible musician as well. Is she really? Yeah, did you not know that? I did not know Do that. Did you not hear Jenny sing? No. Wow. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Is she in today? I'm going to go and get uh, to yes, sing Yes, she is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah the, you know, wow. Wow. Instruments, but I yeah, never knew what that. a voice. She is very talented, our Jenny, isn't she? She is. She really, really is. Well, I never knew that. And she yeah. plays musical instruments. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, piano, guitar. That's piano and guitar. At least, I believe it's, it's them two anyway. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, so she would know exactly what that one was. Wow. Oh, I've mm -hmm. missed my swing. Missed your swing? Missed my swing. Look, I've just, I was thinking that's all I had on oh, the stamp right. at the top and I've completely not stamped the swing out look, at the bottom. So, uh, but yeah, luckily I have a stamping have. platform, which means we can just go back in, and make sure that we get all of that ink down. And then we'll pop that down there. Thank you, uh, Gloria. Glo Gloria was having a little bit of issues uh, hearing us, but she turned her volume up on her Bluetooth. Still so missed you can a little hear us. bit there. All good to go as well. Thank you for your comments. Once Debbie has uh, finished this one, we'll have a read of your comments, but I can see them coming through thick and fast. Thanks to Rachel. Right, so we'll pop those to the side. That's our bits done there. Um, and then I'm just going to use 
Uh, piece of card underneath because we're going to bring in our um, uh, our tri blend. So what we are going to use? Let's start first of all with his hat. Um, so I'm just going to start now. I'm using this one is our true blue, but it's okay. true blue in shades. So uh, it's a really beautiful blue colour. So I'm just going to do this quite quickly. What I love about these gnomes, and you know the stamps within this collection, but certainly the gnomes, depending on the size, because they're not overly big. However, they're still really easy to colour, Debbie. They're oh, big, absolutely. open shapes, so either the hat's nice and open, even the trousers are nice and open. So they're big, open for you to get in there with your pens, whichever one you want to use. It's a satisfying area to colour. Yeah, apologies if I'm going out of the lines because I haven't got my glasses on. Oh no! What a shock! <laughs> Did you have them yesterday? <laughs> I know, and Johnny gave me a pair yesterday that I'd left here before. Uh, I, I, no, actually, Johnny, I've just remembered where they are. They're actually on the dressing table in the green room. So they are in there. So, yes, I would like them if someone could grab them for me. Tracy! Tracy! <laughs> yeah, I did leave them in there yesterday because I thought, oh, I'm going to be colouring tomorrow. Terrible. I really, I really need to learn to use just mm -hmm. my glasses all the time, Craig. I'm just... Just a nightmare. Do you know what I'm going to do, Debbie? Oh, Jamie's away to go and get them for us. Yeah, oh, Jamie's a, he's a wee so legend, lovely. isn't he? Yeah, they are just on the dressing table on my notebook. So, um, yeah, and I left them there yesterday because I thought, oh, I'll need them today. And then I still didn't. Still, um, still forgot them. Still in our them. newly decorated green room, might I add. Do you know what? We're so lucky. We have the most sort of really talented people, mm -hmm. not just in the craft area, but... The things that John and Liam both do yeah. in the building to make our life nicer. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he and is. Comfortable. Good old Jamie. Thank you very no much, worries. Jamie. I'll tell you how comfortable. Yesterday after... Oh, look at that. I can see. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hello. <laughs> hey, we're going to stay the lines now. Lines now. Look, I can colour a bit better now. <laughs> uh, yesterday... I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I can actually see what I'm doing, honestly. I was completely confident concentrating yeah. on what I was doing because I just can't see. <laughs> um, no, it was just a way to say uh, John's made it that comfortable for us, John and Liam. Uh, yesterday after Masterclass, myself and Johnny and John, but we're having our tea, catching up with a little bit of Wimbledon. Yes. You were doing the same, Debbie, but I where was. were you? I love Wimbledon, yes. Where were you when you were watching Wimbledon? Um, I had my feet up in the green room. You did indeed. <laughs> you did indeed. But the TV that works in the green room now. So I, was, yeah. I was thinking I was being a bit unsociable, and then I come out and you were all watching <laughs> Wimbledon, yeah, well. in the uh, canteen. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, we do, you know, we have an incredible team in front of the cameras, you know, doing all our crafty work for you and showing you ideas and inspiration. But then you know, the tech work that the guys and girls do, incredible. But then, even like Sahab and John, who does amazing things anyway that you don't see behind the scenes, he's busy about, he's giving us a really, really cool uh, gallery with Johnny and George. We've done our green room, it's just so comfy and cozy. Because the thing is, much as we love coming here, we absolutely have a ball. There can be long days, Debbie. Yes. It can be long. Absolutely. So it's nice to chill out for uh, 15, 20 minutes and uh, relax. Yeah, it's so nice. I just can't believe the, that how big it now looks. It looks so much bigger, doesn't it's it? It's amazing. Yeah, they've done such a good job. I actually walked in thinking, wow, I felt like I'd walked into a brand new green room. It's one of those, it's deceiving because I, I would swear on my life that it was bigger, that a, a wall had been knocked down or something like that, mm -hmm. but no, it's the way that is. Use, use of space. So what I'm doing now, I've been colouring to use the um, uh, the two pens to, to go together. And then with the darkest colour, because it's hair, I want it to look a little bit like um, it's, uh, it, it's got, we've got, the hair is sort of following that line. Yeah. So, uh, and that's just practice. It's just that flicking motion uh, to sort of do those flicks to create that sort of bearded effect. I mean, that's looking so cool. And I mean, obviously, we all want to spend a bit more time when we're doing it, but uh, leave it to sort of all blend together and you'll just get the most amazing effects. Yeah. So I think with the tri-blends as well, they're one of those uh, 
one of those pens, alcohol pens, where, you know, we, we do tend to say, you know, at home you're going to take your time, you know, you're going to relax in colour. But the tribe lens, if you are in a bit of a rush or a bit of a hurry, but you still want to colour something in for a card or project, you're still going to get a lovely blend, that really free, free flowing blend, even if you are not necessarily taking your time. So I think they really do work well for both. Oh, absolutely, yeah. They're just lovely to use, aren't they? My, my favourites, 100%. Yeah, mine too, absolutely. And actually, it's quite a treat when we use then the classics the, and the uh, illustrator. Yes, you're right. Uh, because these are sort of your go-to, aren't they, all the time. But uh, when you've actually got your, um, your tri-blend markers at hand, uh, they're definitely the ones we always tend to go for. I'm loving the colour. I love blue and yellow together. Oh, it looks like, a bit like he's going to play for Norwich, doesn't he? <laughs> Debbie, you know by now, me and football. Oh, we... yeah, sorry, sorry. Or if you yes. just put your foot in it there. Oh, not that one. Apparently oh, yellow of course and it is. I tell you who I was thinking. I, I was thinking Ipswich, I should have looked at, but no team's yellow and blue, is it? I was thinking of blue and white, actually, so uh, for Ipswich, not Norwich. Sorry, any Nordic yeah, fans. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is any blue and yellow, is there? So, um, but right, let's stop at that one. I have got them uh, finished, so I'm going to bring them in. So we've got our little ones here uh, and our tree. So uh, once you've cut them out, just use your dies, cut around them, um, and then they just give you these really fun amount. Uh, now, don't worry, we're going to be crafting along later and doing quite a bit of colouring. Okay. Uh, let's now bring in our bits and pieces for our cards. So I've got my main card here. I've also, just because I'm, I'm hoping, we might not actually, but I was hoping to get another demo in. Uh, but we've got a two, so I thought we might as well do the girl and the oh, boy. Yeah. Um, and then I just want to bring in those stencils to show you how they work. Uh, so you can use these to uh, use them on uh, on the hat. So you've got here on the hat there. Um, the, there isn't the, oh yes, and then we've got the, is it the dress one? I thought there was another stencil and I could be wrong because this bit here, Oh, yeah. I know what it is. That's not the girl one. There isn't a girl yeah, one Yeah, there should here. be a stencil for There should for be each, another one there? for the girl. So this one is for the hat, so you can obviously add extras on here. Uh, and then the bits at the bottom uh, are to go around the bottom half of the, um, of the boy as well. So if you wanted to use the stencils, you can. Um, and then we've got our piece here. I've just gutted a piece of card uh, and placed it onto some cardstock, white cardstock, okay. just to give that framing of there. Uh, and also, so what you did yesterday, Craig, was uh, quite inspiring as well because adding that sort of black around the edges. So all I've done, just very lightly, is gone round those edges all yeah. the way round. And it just frames it does, the it? actual amount, yes. And it right. doesn't damage your ink pad. No, not Don't at all. Don't worry about it. Yeah, not at all. It's very good, isn't Actually, it? I'm going to rephrase that. It doesn't damage your Crafters Companion Harmony ink pads. Yes. Couldn't say that for other ink pads, because <laughs> I don't know. But for our one, please don't worry about it. You won't damage them at all. No, absolutely not. So let's pop that onto the middle section. So that will give us our background. Even just a sentiment on that, Debbie. Oh, yeah, I would, I would doesn't look, need a yeah. lot else, does or it? Or a verse or something, that's it. Absolutely. But what I am going to do, because I do like to add some extra pieces, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a sort of wrap around. So the front of our car, once we place it onto here, will act as sort of like a bowed front. Okay. So, but I'm not going to do it on my actual car. I'm going to do it on the piece that we're going to attach. Gotcha. That way it hides all your markings. So the first thing I want to do is attach... Uh, I've just got a piece out, lovely patterned cardstock out of the um out of the paper pad okay. there's some really amazing uh patterns in that the rest, paper isn't pad. Uh, really ones that you can use all year round uh, and they're going to last you for for a long time it really is so let's pop that what's lovely as well today it. is uh, you've been able to say i'm using the paper pad that comes with the collection <laughs> you know yes. it's a good one normally like yesterday you know, it's getting Johnny in my ear. You know, many use that paper pad. It's not in the collection, um, but yeah. Do you know nice. what though, Craig? I quite liked that though yesterday. I thought you were very inspiring because not having a paper pad, the first thing you sort of think is, oh. Uh, what, what am I going to use? How am I going to make this look good? How is it going to sell it, really? Because yeah. that's what we're here to do. Uh, but I love the fact that it really does make you think about what else you've got in your stash, yeah. what you can use, and how many of our collections go together. They do. They really, really but do. But all the papers you used yesterday and making your own backgrounds looks True. amazing. 
Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, great now that we do have those uh, additional pieces, uh, but it does show you that you can bring anything into the mix. But today we can be inspired by you. <laughs> yeah, a different, a different take on things today. Although, I have to say, we're very similar in our craft. Well, we are, though, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we're just going to pop that onto the front of our card. So it just gives a different take. Obviously, this type of card uh, means that you would need to make a box. So use your Envella box, because you can see if I just show you, yeah, you can see how much that comes out of the front. So that won't fold flat. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to pop that on there. And I wanted that because I just wanted to be able to put our gnomes right on the front and bring them out of that background picture. But obviously, you don't have to do that. They would look nice just on that picture as it was. So what we're going to do is pop this in the background. So we're going to have that swing in the background here. Let's just have that. It doesn't even need, you don't need to um, to place the gnomes on there. No. I just want that really as a, an additional part for that background. And we're just going to place that just inside. I love this tree. I think it's a great one to have for so many different, you think of all the characters that we've had in the past. Let's put that you, a little yeah, bit higher. Uh, you could use it for so many different things. And then I've just already stamped out our Hello Summer. And we're going to place that on there. I'm just going to use a foam pad to uh, make that just pop out that little bit and keep that curved shape. And because you would be making a, a box of that potentially because of that dome effect, you can see there, you know, don't be scared to pop your die cut elements off the page like Debbie's done there with the tree and the branches Absolutely. that's off the card block. That looks very uh, free-flowing. It can look yeah. lovely when it's just off the page. Absolutely. Uh, so what I've done is I've only done two hands. I'm not worried about the other one because I thought it'd be quite cool that our two gnomes are sort of round the barbecue. So we're going to place them onto the top there. So I'm just putting a piece on the bottoms of them. Do you like so, the barbecue? I'll, oh, yes. Love Absolutely. It. I could live on barbecue. I could. Yeah, I just love it so much. I love doing a barbecue. Yeah, absolutely. And then we're going to use, um, I'm going to just stick these to make them, oh, actually, there's a little tiny one there. Look, that was probably you yesterday, Craig. I think probably. you knew I was going to use that today. Look at that. Take that off. And then we're just going to pop that between the two of them. Just like so. And then each one of their hands, so let's pop some glue on them. So, which is probably quite unusual because probably lots of you are thinking, well, my husband does the barbecue or, but I'm actually doing, oh, we don't want it there, do we? Do where his hand is. Uh, and then we're gonna have, so they're both uh, doing the barbecue today. Their little Yay. hands. And there you go, look at that. Oh, look at that. A couple barbecuing in the summer. Hello, summer. Uh, with that beautiful background, that swing in there. Just has so many different elements to yeah. this collection, and I just love it so much. The other thing I, I like as well with that one, Debbie, is you've not actually put a gnome on the swing. You don't yeah. have to put no, you don't a gnome have on to. a swing. A and there was a reason I didn't want to as well, Craig, because the craft along later on, we're going to be using the swing and the little girl, and we're going to place her on the swing. Um, so I wanted to do one where you could just have that as a background, and uh, it's just a really fun one to have, that it one. It is. Mm. It really, really is. Awesome. Well, if you've not got a hold of it and you want it, details on the screen for you right now. Uh, today's price being $66.99 or $82.85. You're going to get the 12 by 12 paper pad, you're going to get the stamps, you're going to get the dies, you're going to get the stencils as well. With uh, platinum, however, that comes down to $53.59 or $66.28. So what I'm going to do is quickly go through uh, the comments and something else so we can get back to Debbie who's going to squeeze one more demo in before uh, Jay Amy takes over, uh, but we've got, we've got Rachel on the social uh, for the moment anyway. We've got Regina saying good morning, Craig, Debbie and all crafty crafters. Uh, just popped in to say good morning from, uh, good morning, walking, just to say good morning, walking Delaware Park right now. Your walk must be walking in a park in Delaware right now. I presume that must be. Uh, Sue King saying, uh, oh, good luck, Craig, with your operation. We'll be thinking of you. Bless you. Thank you so much. Jane on Facebook is saying, Debbie, yesterday you said you had dark hair some time ago. There is someone on the CC website with dark hair who looks just like you. Oh. 
Uh, it wouldn't be me because um, I think I've been blonde ever since I've been with Crafts Paint. This is coming up to my 10th year. Really? Yeah, so but behind the scenes, I've only been, uh, I've been employed. This is coming up to my sixth year um, being employed. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so, um, but I work behind the scenes uh, with lots of things going on, the design team, demonstrating. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think it's been longer than 10 years that I've had blonde hair for. Okay. Uh, I will, I promise I'll sort that picture out today. I'll, um, I'll, I'll send it to Johnny and he can show it later in the later there show. There you go. <laughs> Forward to seeing that one. <laughs> Alisa on YouTube is saying good morning. Greetings from Arkansas. Uh, See, I say it like Joe says, uh, you know, not quite uh, Arkansas, you know, not with the sass that Joe does. Um, but yeah, I always think of Joe, hear Joe when I see it. Overslept, getting ready for work while listening to my favourite show. <gasps> hope you get to work okay, don't blame us, but hope you get to work okay and on time. <laughs> this is actually, uh, Rachel has put, Debbie, what day is it today? Uh, Wednesday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yesterday. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. If you didn't see yesterday, De Debbie was on this side yesterday, <laughs> and at the start of the show, she kept referring to the fact that it was Tuesday yeah, did, when it was yeah. actually Wednesday. Oh. She's done it again. Yeah, sat it again, and you still said Tuesday. Yeah, what do I know? It's one day of the week. It's midweek. One day. Whatever one. Yeah, all goes into one. It's one crafty week. Uh, right, we've got um, Margaret says regarding hiding the plates. It was the gnomes. It absolutely was. Panda Craft says as the clouds are on your picture, you could colour them as trees too. Absolutely, you could do as well. Just a couple more so we can get back to Debbie in a moment or two. Uh, Kathy on YouTube had saying, it's a ukulele. Banjo have a circular body. That's good to know. Okay. Really good to know. And Sarah Brown on Facebook, I'm really enjoying this show with Craig and Debbie. You are such great people and make me laugh so much. Thanks for sharing your ideas with us and love watching all the fun you get up to. Oh, that's so lovely. So Aren't lovely, we lucky? We have just amazing crafters we out there. We do indeed. We really do indeed. You know, we are so lucky. We'll have such fun on camera as well as off camera. But here we go, what we've got, two special spa star buys. One of them is my one. Now, what could we have as a Craig star buy? We're going to have the foil press. So we've got some of our foil. So we've got a lovely selection here of our five foil rolls. So we've got four, which is your paper, craft foils you've got one that's multi-purpose although I always say you know me by now when it comes to your paper craft foil this is what you're going to be using for like 99.9 percent .9 of your foiling however that's not it within the star bag you're going to get those five rolls of foil which are five meters in length you're also going to get free your finger grips and you're also going to get free a cooling mat now, if you've got the foil press, you're going to have these sets. Don't worry about them. What you're going to do is you're going to reuse these ones at home, maybe in the kitchen, pop your pots and pans on there, you make your hot spoons, maybe in your craft room, pop your hot glue gun on these ones as well, because these are heat-proof silicon. You'll be able to use them as well. So they are free, but they are useful free items. So all of that you're going to get is Craig Star by the five rolls, plus these ones for free. $19.95 or $23.75 for you guys stateside. Platinum, however, comes down to $15.96 or $19. That's incredible. For one roll alone, you'd be looking at round about the five pound mark for just one roll of five meter length foil. You're getting all five of them, plus you're getting these for free. So that's Craig Star Buy. So make sure you get ahead on the website and check that one out. Now, Debbie's got a Star Buy. I have. You have indeed. I, re I requested this one, but I'm going to let you tell what it is, Craig. Do you want me to go through it while yes. you're just getting ready? Mm. Perfect. Okay, doc. Right. Here we go. This is Debbie's star bag. Now, Debbie, why did you choose this specific box, well, which is all about the embossing folders? Yeah, you heard me yesterday, Craig. We were learning all about embossing. Uh, I love embossing, and I want you to love embossing as well. So yeah. by having this, it will really get the feel of what you can do with your embossing, which is amazing. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. The three colours. Why did you choose these specific three colours when it comes to the water reaction? 
radioactive ink pads. You know, I, I know you love the parakeet, which is in it, same with the fuchsia. Absolutely. Oh, and then you've it? got crushed velvet. It was a reason you put those three together. They're my favourite colours. Favourite colours. Yeah, they there are my favourite colours. I absolutely love them. They work well together. They blend well together. I just love them. Absolutely yeah. amazing. And then we're even. So there's your ink pad. We're even giving you gelden wax now why did you put this color in uh, do you know what craig this is my box isn't it it is your <laughs> box isn't it yeah. uh, the reason i put that in again yesterday i was saying how it elevates your embossing so emboss use that letter press technique yeah. where you put the uh, uh, water reactive ink pads on them add your uh, gilding wax on top of that if, if anyone wants to know what we're exactly talking about go back and watch craig's show yesterday he did exactly that with items like this but different embossing folders yeah. and they just look amazing they do. Uh, gold gilding wax you can't go wrong can you no not at all not at all but i know you popped in one of your favorite ones here with the uh, antique gold oh so it's just the best one best one for yeah, you isn't it yeah one. there we go and you're going to get the uh the circle blending tool with the uh, two foams as well now i know if you could you would have put the finger daubers in that was well i did ask i, I was like can we not create one with the finger daubers they like debbie it's out of stock so right, stock. i was like well the next best thing is obviously the um yeah the ink blender so uh, yes yeah, perfect fab perfect and then just say although it says a six piece six piece you've got 220 elements within that box your embossing folder so all of that working out is a six piece 40% saving, David's managed to get hold of it for you guys at home. $34.99 or $43.99 platinum. However, that comes down to $27.99 or $35.19. Remember, Club Inspire, whether it is a star buy, whether it is a craft house when it pops up, or a, uh, not craft house, um, not a craft along, um, the, the vault. What, what show do we, craft vault, there you go. You should know, shouldn't I? Whether it's a craft vault, whether it's a cartload, whether it's a sale, you're still going to get your Club Inspire on top of that one. Debbie, save me. I just went to colour again. I thought I can't see again, so let's pop my glasses on. There we go. Uh, right, yes, I've already stamped this out because <laughs> uh, I've already stamped this out because um, uh, just for time, we're not going to get it all coloured, but I'm going to do just a little bit of it um, and just colour around. Now, what I love about it is uh, so Johnny says that little gnome caravan. It is a little gnome caravan. It's uh, it's very very cute. Uh, it's the one. Do you ever go to these like um, like craft fairs and stuff, Craig? Or um, they do um, like these uh, wood shows where they have all these wood traders, um, and they have caravans like the really old the fashioned, old ones. Um, like the true traditional gypsy caravans, and they are incredible. The detail in them and how they're painted and incredible. they're just beautiful. So this reminds me a lot of that because it's such a pretty caravan, really, really lovely. Is. I'm using uh, the pink violet blend uh, and actually I'm only because of time let's just do a little piece of this okay so we don't have to do it all but I just want to show you even color in a larger area um, it looks they just look fabulous they do I think as well with the garden gnomes there's so many elements from the Christmas gnome collection from last year that's going to work well with this one as well so you're kind of going to be extending your collection have a play with them bring one into the other and vice versa yeah absolutely and and pieces like this where you're coloring are so easy uh, to get that shading because you can imagine if you've got these sort of patterns you would imagine that they're shading around those uh, so it's a really nice one to follow uh, and then you can just then go back in and just with circular motions go around those pieces and it would just blend that whole piece uh, into uh, each uh, lighter shade uh, just so nice to work with the tribalins. They really are. Uh, just Absolutely a nice stamp to uh, sort of work with. But continue to colour that in using the dark one as well. I'm going to bring in that. Look how it looks when it's finally coloured in. Absolutely Look at beautiful. That. So you would just uh, continue to do that. Uh, then use your outer edge. So this is what I'm saying about an outline die. It means that you can see your whole image 
meaning your whole, even the line around the edges, so you can get the perfect cut of that. And when it's cut out, you get that white rim around the edge. Like Craig, you were doing yesterday with a fussy cutting. Mm -hmm. um, it's it, those dies do that work they for do, do you. It. Yeah. So let's pop that to the side. Uh, I know we're uh, getting short on time, so what I am going to do is bring my card in here uh, and bring in this background. So all I've done, we had the luxury card stock on the show yesterday. Yes. It's probably still on the website. It's an amazing It'll be. deal. I don't have the deal still on, but perhaps Johnny can uh, let us know. Uh, but I've just used some of the glitter cardstock, and I've just gutted it out on the inside, just so I can uh, not be so wasteful. And I've got myself quite a large 7x7 seven seven card, but I've just made a 6x6 six six frame. Got you. Uh, so we're going to stick this on. I quite like um, having the larger framed area. You were doing that Snap. yesterday as well, yeah. Craig. Uh, and I, I was thinking to myself, we are just so similar we are, we uh, really in our are. styles. So yeah. we're just going to use our tape to go all the way around and pop that right in the middle. Never be frightened to leave that nice white space yep. around the edges because it just frames like everything. listening to myself. Yes, <laughs> it draws you. Oh, I've done that very wonky. Let's just uh, take that off and oh, oh, oh. Can we move it? Oh, look, that's how good our, our tape pens are. So I am going to move it though just because, like Craig, that perfectionist in us that wants to get it straight. Yeah, I'm unfortunately not that person that wants a wonky card. No, no, me neither. There we go. So pop that on. And then what I've done this time is I've created another seven inch across, and I'll give you the measurements for this one, which is four and a half. Uh, I've then come in at quarter of an inch, and I've then scored again at two and a half inches. And what that will do, it creates a stepper for the front of our card. So this will just go underneath uh, and then create that stepper. Uh, it just takes your card to that next level, adds a little bit more interest. Obviously, you can just leave your card like like this uh, but it's actually nice just to do something extra and I think that's what takes us from that sort of beginner crafter uh, to sort of a more intermediate um, oh, for sure crafter. yeah for sure and then all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make sure that we've uh, burnished that line right down that will help it just um, use it as a step and then again on here and we're just going to pop our tape pen on that one. You can see all I've done on the edges is just slightly uh, come in as a triangle, and that will just give you really neater edges. Oh, that's on a good the idea. Your card, yeah. So don't you don't have to just leave it as that one. It just just makes it all ties it up, makes it really neat. It's so lovely as well to see uh, creating a seven by seven stepper card, but without having to use like big A3 cardstock with all the different measurements. It's nice being able to break it down if you've maybe not got large A3 cards. Absolutely. So this time we've done our uh, little uh, girl gnome. I've put a little bit of glitter, just one of our glue pens, uh, some glitter around the rim there. You can see that shading when you get the stencil, uh, you can make patterns on a dress, so really cool. So we're gonna put her on the front step, but we're gonna have that caravan in the background. But look at the papers behind, you're getting them Beautiful. in the pads. Uh, they look amazing. I I just love them. It's just nice. Sometimes you just need something to kickstart that idea that you're wanting to run with. Go in with one of these papers that are already in the paper pad and then work around that idea. Yeah, absolutely. And then we've just got our There's No Place Like Gnome, which we're going to pop just over the top there. And then I've got our happy birthday to pop on the step. Uh, and again, we've got the extra flower pots, the little watering can you can see has got her hands on there, so it looks like she's holding it. So we're gonna pop our stepper. So let's pop those on. And that one onto our step. So we're gonna pop her right on the end there. Love and then it now. With her watering can. I love all this. This is a definitely a set that you can uh, really get creative with. So we're going to have that. She's going to be watering our plants there. I mean, you wouldn't even think that was a separate die now onto done. there. Just no. beautiful. And then last but no least, her little flower pot. This one is, this collection, that is absolutely is one of those collections. If you love your scene building, if you love to create that scene, 
whether it's a subtle scene or a full-on scene, you're able to do that with all the different elements that even that Debbie's been using now. Absolutely. And then just finishing it with that happy birthday. So even though we've put there's no place like Gnome, that's just a take on what's in the background. Yeah. Uh, but actually putting a happy birthday on there, it just makes it a really giveable card then. So, but I, yeah, love this collection. Really nice and fun and something for everyone. Really is. Absolutely love that one. Remember everything or show why you'll be able to go back and watch again on our YouTube if you want to see again how Debbie done that one here. But let's have a look quickly at this collection as to what you're going to get within the collection in a little bit more detail before Jamie pops in for the remaining hour. $66.99 or $82.85. Platinum, $53.59 or $66.22. Okay. Oh, oh, would you believe it? It was the plates from that shelf. See, Debbie, that's why we both say they shouldn't be there. <laughs> if they weren't exactly. there, they wouldn't have fallen. Exactly. Exactly. So here we go. Let's have a look at the paper pads, the 12 by 12 paper pad. This one has uh, obviously been started to be used. Let's take these bits out here. 180 GSM. You know, uh, no one love our uh, cardstock, the quality. 36 sheets you've got within this paper pad as well. You're going to see how bright and vibrant the colours are. All double-sided. You've got some that are full-on decorated, decorated with detail. We've got some that have got more of that subtler design on the opposite side. Front and back is going to be uh, complementing each other. Like this one here, you could be cutting into strips and borders if you want to. You don't have to use it as a, as a full 12 by 12 or even cut it down. Do it into strips. Same with that one there, really nice. Even if you're just going to cherry pick sections, you can do. You've got the ones with the toadstools here. Whether it is your yellows or your fuchsias, you're going to go in with your greens. I mean, that one there. That one to me says summertime snowball fight. That's just what it does to me. Reminds me of snowballs, but with the fuchsia. So you've got all of these ones as well. Edge to edge design. You've got that sort of uh, bigger sort of gingham effect there with the patterns. And then talking about gingham, on the opposite side, you've got your yellow. And then as we get to the back, these are the scenes already included that Debbie was talking about in her demo there. So what you've got there is four. So it is on a full 12 by 12. You're going to chop it down into four, and you've got then four little scenes. And I say little, nothing little about them. They are six by six in size. But look at these ones. If you've lost that initial scene building mojo, you want to know or get that inspiration as to where to start. Start from these scenes, build on top. That is the paper pad. You've got the stencil as well as the embossing folder. This is the one that Debbie used in her first demo here this morning on Wake Up Call. Then what we've also got is this one. So this is the one that Debbie just used there, that one being your little uh, it's like a toadstool caravan. You've got all the additional detailed dies to go with the stamps too. Then you've got your accessory stamping dies. So you've got the sign, you've got the picnic Ba basket, you've got the pond there, you've got some of the flowers, and we've also got the swing. Once again, this is the one that Debbie used earlier on in the first demo, where you've got that scene that's already there for you to put the gnomes on top, have fun, and then start to build on top of that with the other elements, if you so wish. Going on to the girl gnome here, you've got the stamps, you've even got the stencils so you can decorate and design her own dress and hat. You've got the additional embellishment stamp and dies, such as the flowers. You've got the little wood, uh, wood. You've got the fire with the stones, as well as her wings. And then we've got the man, the boy, the male gnome here. Same idea, stamp and dies with the stencil for you to design his own outfit. But what you've got is you've got the barbecue, you've also got him with the uh, mash marshmallows as if they're going on to the fire. You've got the fishing rod as well, as well as a few others. And then last but by no means least, you get the sentiments too. Some really simple generic sentiments, some that are a play on the word when it comes to the gnome collection. That's included too. So it is the complete 
collection from the garden gnomes, which is what Debbie's going to be using in the craft along coming up later on in the day on Crafters TV, 2 o'clock here in the UK, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Pacific Time. Quite a couple of comments before we go for a break before Jamie comes in. Uh, Lorraine, on, uh, Lorraine on Facebook, thank you, Lorraine, saying, Craig's last day till September, would not miss it. Bless you, thank you so much. Cathy saying, it's a ukulele, banjos have circular body. I think I read that one, didn't I? Yeah. Lillian is saying, hi, everyone, late again. Gosh, gnomes, but looks fun. They really, really are. Cathy, Chelsea is blue and yellow, mainly blue with a touch of yellow. Kerry, Craig, we support you so much and love you so much. Bless you. Thank you, uh, Kerry. I really, really appreciate that. Um, a lot of lovely comments for myself. Thank you. I have been reading them. A uh, lot of love for Debbie's card as well. Pammy on YouTube is saying, uh, adorable card demo. And, oh, Lorraine is saying, what was the box number for Debbie's star pick? 39. Number 39, if you're keeping a track of that one as well. Cathy saying you love the collection for the gnomes. And Mary on Facebook saying I may just have to order the collection as a birthday present to myself. Excellent. Do that. Treat yourself. Keep the comments coming in. Rachel's going to feed them through to us thick and fast so we can read out throughout the show as well as throughout the day. Tell you what, check out your baskets. The uh, gnome collection is turning out to be a really busy collection. Check them out across on our website. We are going to take a little bit of a break. And then when we come back, we're going to be joined by Jamie and Creative Expressions for the final hour. See you in a minute. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick Buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast-drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us. You give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. 
never get fed up of watching that video. Never. A little bird details, we might be getting some new ones shortly as well. Mm, looking forward to seeing that one as well. Right, T.O., here we go. We're now into uh, the hour where we've got creative expressions. We've got the main man himself with some incredible ideas that he's brought to the table. Let's say hello to him and let's see what we're going to be bringing today. Hi, Jamie. Hello, Craig. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you so much. Really looking forward to this hour. I've been having a look at some of the bits and bobs that you've been bringing and some really, really ingenious ways in which you can be using the dyes that you've brought. Hopefully. I wanted to bring out a set of dyes that gives you the utmost freedom to be as creative as you wish to be. So this is the idea, really. It's, it's like an edgeable, but with a nesting die, so you can use them separately or together and be as creative as you wish to be. Absolutely. Right. Tell you what we can do is like dive in and have a look at the first collection that we've got, which, once again, you know, yes, under the, uh, from Creative Expressions, but it has been designed by Jamie. So these ones here, this for co first collection is the Star Collection. It's not just Star, so it's the In and Out Four Piece Star Collection by Jamie Rogers. You've got 42 dies in total. So today's price being fifty. £50.99 or $85.99 for these ones here. Going to be saving 10% on that saving. However, even if you are um, in Club Inspire on uh, Crafters Companion website, you're still going to get your discount. Platinum comes all the way down to £40.79 or $68.79 for you guys stateside. So let's have a look at this set here. So what we've got are your star. So you've got your star within this one here. Now these are the in and out concept, the fold back concept. So I'm going to turn it around for you to see. And you're going to see them in a lot more detail when Jamie starts to demo them. You've got the star. You've also got your hexagon. Then you've also got your oval. And then what you've also got is your large square. And I say large, you've got your 13 dies within that one. So that's where your total number comes from, 13 dies. 13, 11, and then also with the star, you're getting your five. So in the black and white form, let's show you these ones. I'm going to show you some other ideas as well. These are so good to give you the idea as to what they can create. So I'm going to move these ones. There we go. So we've got our hexagon ones here. So the hexagon, this is just nice ways, Jamie, of showing the mats and layers of Absolutely. Them. So in the middle, you've got the four shapes used just as a nesting shape. Off to one side, you can see the just the edges used. So it's down to how you wish to cut them. And if you wish to have them on a, a one border or both sides up to you and then on the other end of the board we're showing you how you can bring in your nesting die with your edgeable die to create an aperture so you could hang things in there if you wanted to or you can just leave it as a frame put yeah. things behind it etc really really good and when you see that additional die set in each collection that enables you to do that in and out or even that fold back you really is such a fun technique so same idea when it comes to the square we've got the oval and then did i pop right, there we go let's do it i think i've moved one let's do it again oval square there we go star and then we also have the hexagon there we go. So that is your in and out four piece collection. Another idea just to show you as well, because you don't have to use them in the specific concept that Jamie thought of and designed in mind. Use them in many different ways. I mean, look at that in the card blank. Have fun little framework for maybe your artwork when it comes to your inks. Maybe you want to top little photos in there. Fold backs that you can see here. So not just in and out fold backs, Jamie. No, honestly, there are so many ways we can use these. I think I could be here for the next week and we could still be coming up with ideas. And I think this is one of the beauties of the product. The more I play with them, the more I come up with. So I think the uh, same with you lot. Once you've got hold of them, you're just going to keep coming up with ideas. And yeah. you're going to keep introducing them to other things you've got as well. And like the cards that um, Craig is showing, they're all done on one size card blank. So if you wanted to bring these onto your 8x8s, maybe your 10x7s, it's going to give you a lot more freedom because you're going to have more area to play with. That's it. You can go smaller. So if you want to do shape tags and bits like that, you can absolutely do that too. I mean, if you look at that one there, 
with the square. That's fab just off the centre of it. But then if I bring this one in, this is actually the concept, isn't it, Jamie? So this is one of our fold backs. Yeah. So I've always loved a technique called lasse. Yeah. Now I know here at Gemini we have some lasse dies. This is really a, a sort of a version of that, but you've got the ability to create what you want to create, when you want to create it, as much or as in depth as you wish for it to be, by just choosing how many dies you put in place and what sizes you choose to use. So it gives awesome. you a lot of freedom to be creative. Yeah. What we'll do is I've got loads of other ideas to show you from that one set. So throughout the day, and I say that loosely because these are all really, really busy already across on our website. So they might not last the day, but throughout the day we'll show you different ones as well. That one there, that is the star collection. You've got the star, you've got the hexagon, you've got the oval, and you've got the square as well. So same idea, same concept. But what we've got within this set here, £51.29 or $86.40, platinum being £41 and a penny, $69.12, is the Love Hearts. So you've got the Love Hearts, so you've got your seven dies. You've got your rectangle, so you've got your 13 dies. You've got your circle, which is giving you the 13 dies. And then you're getting, is this a different hexagon within this one? You've got your octagon now. Octagon, that's what it is, octagon. Get more octagons and hexagons. Do you know, I can't that. do it, I read it on the packet. <laughs> There you go. I designed them and I can still, you know, some people struggle with their left and their right. Yes. To me, it's hexagons and hexagons octagons. And I know yeah. it's eight sides and six sides. You can tell me to your blind face. I still, it just doesn't sink in. It doesn't happen. <laughs> I'll know that. If, if they uh, stay in stock for the remainder of today, I'll know to uh, just check the packaging. Uh, we've got some more of the boards here to give you the example as uh, previously before. Having the rectangles there. I mean, all shapes are really, really useful shapes. Hexagon and circles really are really, really useful with the different you know, layers that you want to do, or of course, if you want to use them to do framework sentiments. The love hearts, these are ones that are going to be fab, Jamie, for your different concepts on the side of your cards. Absolutely, just yeah. down the middle. Valentine's is, is never far away. It's never is, is it? Freeze, weddings, you know, yeah. it's going to come in very handy for a lot of occasions. It really, really is. Love hearts included within this collection. And then, of course, we've got the octagon. We've got the octagon. I'm just going to think of UFC, the uh, UFC fighting. I'm just going to think of that. I will nod and agree. Yeah, you nod, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sure you actually thought about, you know, UFC fighting when you I was thinking that was one. possibly a football team. Right? I, I'm worse. I heard you say earlier about not knowing about football teams. I just know about no sports. No sports. None at all. None. No. Yeah. None at all. Yeah. Only one I am is wrestling, of course. <laughs> and some of you say it's not even a sport. Let's not go down that one. But I'm the same as you. Not, uh, I'm not, not a sporty person. Um, but look at these ones here. A few little ideas. Do you know something, Jamie? This idea here is worth its weight in gold just within that whole collection. Exactly, and this is what I mean. You have got so many f ideas that can come out of these. That's actually put on the inside of the card, but I folded it back so we can right, see it okay. straight away. But I love the idea that we want to give gift cards, and gift cards are, that's actually a valid one. I haven't said that yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there's two of them in there somewhere. <laughs> but uh, we always want to give gift cards, but we want them to look like more than just a gift card, yeah. don't we? So by cutting in your little half moons on the inside of your cards, you could create a holder for them, giving you the ability to make your card. I've also given Craig a couple of other ideas you have indeed them, where we could use them to make little tags and then put the tags on the inside of the card Such and that shows how idea. the dies can also be used to create pockets and tags and holders in one go so I your circles can one. come in in multiple places on one product such a good idea jamie being able to do that when it comes to these ones here too i'll pop that in later on a couple more as well before we all go off to wagamamas and have some food <laughs> you know little designs you've got there i mean i love this one that one and this one is absolutely awesome. Who kills that? Again, it's all about the things we can hang in there. I've bought my um, tea bag folding collection to you not that long ago. That's right. This would be perfect for hanging your tea bag items in. The card Craig's now holding reminds me of a snowman. It, uh, I yeah. could see you just adding a few additions to that, turning that into a snowman. Yeah. And that's again where your ideas can come in and they're completely universal to use of every season. Could be like a snowman just peeping around the door. Exactly. You can move snowman. the circles closer as well. So if you do want them to be joined, yeah. you can absolutely do that. That's where I've put them on and cut them in one go instead of putting the dies closer to each other to nest more. It's about the fun you're going to have with these, isn't it, Jamie? The layouts, the styles, 
just adore these ones. Once again, when it comes to this set here being your heart set, do have lots of other ideas and inspiration for you that will show you throughout the day if it actually stays in stock. Another one is actually what I had in mind when I seen one of those samples as well for the top uh, a gift for a bottle of wine or something like that. And, and you can make bigger it. ones to do door, hand door hangers hands as well, as well. that keep out door signs. I'm hopefully going to show you those at some point. Brilliant, excellent. Right here, so if you want to get your hands on the ones there, that is your heart collection. So this is your In and Out Four Piece Heart by Jamie Rogers, 5126, $86, 40. Everyone gets that for 10% uh, saving, but if you're platinum, that comes down to £41 and a penny, or $69.12. We have got Cosmic Shimmer, we've got Guild and Touch. We've got two collections here. So my main man Johnny, what one are we going to go for? The pearls and the silvers. Right here. So we've got the Guild and Touch. Right, I'm going to tell you right now, 10% of these have gone already. You've not even seen them. You've not even seen them in action yet. Jamie, what are these ones all these about? These are incredible. This is magic in a little bottle. These are a water-based gilding wax, which okay. means they're not solvent-based. There are no nasty chemicals in them, so they're good for you, they're good for the planet. And water-based means that they're easy cleanup, but it also means we can dilute them down. So if we want to paint with them, we can do. Brilliant. We can mix them, we can create completely unique backgrounds with them. We're hopefully going to be focusing on these in my second show, okay. and um, we'll be taking these through the paces and showing you lots of different ways you can use them they have an ultra fine like nozzle to them so you can literally pick them out and okay. put them onto the tip of your finger and it gives you the ult utmost oh. precision to go in and sort of highlight areas on your card or maybe on embossed card and create some stunning backgrounds oh fab absolutely fab this is one of the sets that you've got your five piece like you know that's got pearl that's got autumn bronze it's got silver note it's got misty teal and it's also got tarnished gold misty teal which absolutely my name written all over it one of my favorite Colours, teals, duck egg, blues, mints, as you guys always, uh, that you guys know. $29.25 or $45, you're also going to get 10% on that lovely bundle there. But if you're platinum, that's going to come down to $23.40 or $36. Maybe, maybe those colours aren't saying you. Maybe these ones will. Maybe you want to get them both. Maybe you want to treat yourself. We've got another set here. If you're into your coppers and your golds with your reds, you may want to look to go for this one here. Beautiful colours here. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. When it comes to things within the Cosmic Shimmer ranges, whether it's your powders, whether it's your waxes, I will always say that creative expressions are the absolute best when it comes to these sorts of uh, products, oh, that's Jamie. very nice. Just think they are Thank absolutely you. fab. And so versatile, as you said a moment ago. They are. A lot of our products, or pretty much most of them are water-based, so yeah. again, it gives you a lot of freedom to be creative with them, because you don't just have to use them in the formula they've been created. No. Fab. There we go. If you want those ones as well, $29.25, $45, still got 10% on that one. $23, uh, £23.40 if you are platinum, or $36 for you guys stateside. That one's got Indulgent Red, Enchanted Gold, it's got Warm Gold, it's got Gold Bronze, and it's got Rose Gold as well. 10%'s gone already of that one, but please go across onto the website as well. Check out not just what we've got from Crafters Companion, but you're going to find a great selection selection of uh, creative expressions across on the website. Just search them or just go into their uh, home section on our website and you're going to find lots and lots of goodies. Right, I'm going to be quiet now so that we can go across to Jamie and see what we are going to be making. I spy the Big Apple. You do. This is the card we're going to begin with. And we're going to be talking about our lovely square dies and showing you how we can create that edge with these. If I open that out just so you can see it without the card behind it, this is the bit that we're going to be working on. This Hook is where your in and outs come in perfectly to create your unique and shaped cards. So what I've done already is I've got myself a card blank and we're going to actually change it. That one was in white. This one we're going to do in cream just for a bit of variation. And we're going to bring in two of our dies. Now you're going to get quite a few options with these. If I remember rightly, this one's got 13 different die sets or 13 different dies in the set. So you've got a lot to choose between. Okay. So we're going to go for our outside square. These ones always remind me a bit like a large staple. Don't know why. Oh so yeah, they do, yeah, the don't they? So yeah, we're going to pop that in place and we're going to use some tape to hold it down. 
Now, depending on your machine, um, depends on how you wish to use these. Uh, the machine I'm going to use, so I'm going to tape them down. I have another machine that sometimes I cut into the magnetic mat, okay. and, it, and it, that doesn't matter. So uh, you could do that depending on the, the machine you're going to be playing with. With our Gemini, I'm going to be nice because it's not mine, <laughs> and I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to tape down in place. Yeah, you're all right. Debbie just dropped it on the floor <laughs> a minute ago, so you're fine. <laughs> It doesn't work, we'll just blame Debbie. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> so I'm going to take my machine, I'm going to place my dies in here with the card, and I'm going to place them out on top. And we'll send these through. Fabulous. Just to say, I'll do what I usually do, so, so I'm not interrupting uh, Jamie all the time. Anything that he uh, switches to that he uses, uh, main man George, he's going to pop the details on the bottom of your screen. And then once Jamie's finished, we'll have a recap as to uh, what he has used. Oh, yeah. Don't forget, if you've got a newsletter, got your newsletter, remember that uh, peel to reveal, get an extra 10%, you know, you'll be able to uh, use that in conjunction with your in and out uh, piece collection, if you so wish. So here we go, I've already cut this through, so we've taken off the outer edge part. Okay. We also have our square piece, I'm just going to get rid of my masking tape pieces. So we have the perfect element if we wish to use it, we've got that part as well, so no waste here. No. And then we need to remove this outer piece, and I say we need to, we certainly don't have to. Okay. As we show you with some of the cards we held up, we can of course fold this back, and I don't need this card, so I'm going to get a bit messy. We can fold that back, we can then stand our card up, and that can be part of the design. Now, we could have made this slightly larger, so it'll move the square slightly further in, so this part was slightly chunkier, and then we could have made that equally as much of the front of the card as the inside. But for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a rule, and I'm going to use a rule with a metal edge to it, so that I'm not going to carve into my ruler, and we're going to hold that on here. Now, a bit of a tip for you, this is how I always do it. Because I use a rule with a grid work on it, all I'm going to do is make sure that I have a flat line running across the top of my card. So I have okay. a nice orange line there, knowing that when I cut down here, I've got a nice straight line. It also means I can go down to the base and I can pick up that same extension line and cut down from there to take away our extra piece. And give that a bit of a wiggle, and that part is going to fall away for me. Ah. So I've then got my perfect card ready to work with. Yeah. I could then, if I wanted to, I could neaten this one up again, if I'd cut it a little bit wider maybe, and then add that onto the inside. So if this was a different colour or a different technique or a different effect that would have been put on the front of the card, I could then be sort of hinting towards what's coming just by that exposed edge there. So this part can be used if you wish for it to be. Okay. But for this card, we're not going to be using it. I'm going to go ahead to one I've already trimmed and cut. I'm going to add a couple of pearls on this one ready just for speed. I've got so much I want to share with you today, yeah. so I'm going to try and be quick as I can. No problem. I've added some black card in the middle. I'm then going to bring in a piece of our coconut white, and this is a bit of a top tip or, or technique I like to do. If I want to have a background, but I don't want it to be too intense and steal the show from what I'm going to do in front, I just emboss it on my um, scoreboard. So this is every half inch. I've just done a pinstripe line to give me quite a subtle background. It's a good tip. Yeah, I love doing that. Sometimes I love embossing folders, don't get me wrong. They certainly have a place, and we'll be using a lot of those when we come onto the Gilded Touch. Uh -huh. But I don't always like plain cardstock, but I don't really want something too heavy that, as I say, is necessarily going to steal the show yeah. from what I'm creating. I'm then going to bring in my frame. Now, of course, because we have all of these size dies, we can match up and make our frames. So I've just used two slightly larger than that one because we're going to step from a solid to a half to a solid to a half would be in the middle and then another solid, I hope that made sense. These are the two solids that we've taken to create the frame. So I can bring this in and I can place that on the top here and everything is going to nest nicely together right. from the sizes that we've got all within that one set. So you don't need to have other sets of squares, everything is going to be counted brilliant. for you. I'm then going to bring in my New York die or my cityscape die, and we're going to place that in the window. Now, today, we've, we've been really good. We've tried to keep it plain and simple for you. We're just talking about the in and out dies and um, how they can work and what you can do with them. So all these bits I'm going to be adding, you know, feel free to bring in your own components, like them lovely yeah. gnomes that Debbie was just playing with. Right, A enough. lovely gnome in here would look so cute, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Wouldn't Maybe it? Maybe that little caravan. I love that caravan. Yeah. I want that. I like that. <laughs> Maybe add the caravan in the window and then a couple of gnomes standing down here on the ground you know you could play around so much with the collections you've already got or maybe ones you've ordered today 
And then we're going to add a bar down this side because I want to bring in something to break this up. And we want to, again, nod to the colours that we've been using. So again, I've got some black and some coconut white card. I've done that same pinstripe effect going down on the panel in the middle, so it gives a hint to what's on the inside of the card. And we're going to place that just going down on the edge here. Now, on my finished card, I added a thinking of you die um, for my wording that you can see up here. We could, of course, bring in any sentiment dies. I was planning on adding a million thanks to the top here. Mm -hmm. But today, we also have for you wordies. Okay. Now, wordies are really cool little strips that we can cut out. So I think instead, I'm going to go for love and hugs and place that on there. And that wasn't even <laughs> measured to fit, but it fits perfectly. It does, doesn't it? Bit of a fluke, that one. So we're going to have love and hugs on the outside and maybe never give up on the inside. And we could certainly do some more with that to uh, make that a bit more. Actually, let's bring in this panel. I we forgot I've got my side panel. Let's bring that in. We are going to have a look at the here. words just shortly. And we'll bring the never give up and place that on there so that we've got that sort of continuation running through the card. And there we go. That's our first little demo. How fab is that? Absolutely fab. I adore the black and white, um, but that one there that Jamie used is, uh, what's the stars that come in the star collection? Details on your screen right now, the in and out four piece star collection. Do you know, it's, it's one of those, I know we've got 42 dies in total at the bottom there, but you say four piece and you think, oh, four pieces, yeah, okay, it's four pieces. The fact you've got 42 dies in total, just four separate collections. So within that one there, £50.99 or $85.99. You are going to get your 10% saving on that one. However, Platinum is going to come down further. £40.79 or $68.79 for you guys stateside. Right, let's have a look at the wordies. So we've got our everyday pack here. Now, these ones here, so you can see your uh, wordies, sentiment sheets, everyday pack or everyday four. This one has got... Uh, I'm going, to I'm going to start that one again. Wordy sentiment sheets. Every day, it's a four pack and they're six by eight inches. Is, Johnny, is that right? £2.99 or $4.50. Platinum comes down to £2.39 or $3.60. So these, Jamie, I'm presuming is a, just a, a full sheet of words that you're going to trim yourself. Yeah, these are the sheets in question. Gotcha. Um, they are also printed in a way which means you can foil on top of them. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not good at foiling. That's right. not something I've, I've yet conquered, to be honest with you. But I've been told that they are with the right ink, so if you wish to foil them, you can do. So that's quite a cool idea that you could add to those. Yeah. They're also really good for adding inks to because they're uncoated. Okay. So if you wish to take your distress inks and add over them, I might show you that at some page, some stage, but we can blend over the top of these, make them completely rainbow if we wish to, and different that's effects a really like that, good idea. to tone them to the card that you're creating. Yeah. So on the, the the black ones, forgive me if, if this is what you were meaning, Jamie. So in the black ones, you could even colour the white words. Yeah, do you want me to show you? Hey, have we you can, got type? I'm always up for oh, going off on a go tangent. Go for it. Let's have a look at it then. Let's see them. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's bring in the black and the white one. And I'm just going to bring in an ink here. This is just a dye-based ink. I'll use one of our little smoothies for some speed. But literally just take the ink and go straight over the top of them. Brilliant. And you can blend these shades if you want to. So we're going to do a bit of the blue there and a little bit over here. And then I brought a couple of ink pads to share with you just in case we got onto this today. So I'll also bring in some red and we'll pick up a bit of ink from the red one and then go straight over this part here. Yeah. And you can just blend these however you wish to. So again, if you wanted to mist over the top of them maybe with some misters and bits like that, it's down to you. They're an uncoated cardstock, so if you want to add to them, feel absolutely free to do so. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for doing That's that, Jamie, problem. just so that we could see that one there. That one there is your uh, sentiments. That's your everyday. Maybe instead you want inspirational or at that price you may be potentially going to pop them both into your basket here exactly the same idea you can do exactly the same things that Jamie just talked about a moment ago and showed you but these are your wordy sentiment sheets inspirational four packs so you're getting two black two white six by eight inches two pound 99 or four dollars fifty if you are platinum that's going to be two pound 39 or three dollars sixty just to show you I'm, I've literally just randomly picked up a couple finished samples at the side of me. I had another one a moment ago. Let's bring in this one here. These are really, really... 
they're really handy. You know, I love my sentiment stamps and my dies, but these are so handy. Done for you, guillotine, paper trimmer, craft knife, whichever form of cutting tool that you like to use, trim them out, and that's them done. So that one there is your inspirational one. I can see many of you loving these ones for sure. If you want to get a hold of both of them, ones you can do across on our website, of course. Lots of other goodies as well from Creative Expressions. Check them out while you are there. But what we are going to do is we're going to have a look at the hearts, the in and out, the heart collection that we uh, are. Uh, well, we showed you through earlier on. We're going to have a look at them again in a moment with Jamie. But these are £51.26 or $86.40. Getting that 10% saving, but even on a Creative Expressions collection, you're still going to get your Club Inspire discount, £41 and a penny, $69.12. Once again, anything that you see Jamie using in his demo, what we'll do is we'll recap after, so I'm not uh, constantly interrupting them. But Jamie, what are you going to do for us now? Okay, this is the card that we're going to work with next, and we're going to do one of our fold back techniques because I that really want gorgeous. to see as many different ways that I can to show you how to use yeah. these guys. So, this is again very easy to do. I promise you, nothing I'm going to do is complicated. What we're going to do is we're going to take the largest heart die from in the set, and this is the one obviously which is a full shape, so we okay. can see that quite clearly. We're going to take that, we're going to plop it down onto a piece of paper. Now I'm going to use some double sided paper for this one. Right. So on one side I've got stripes, the other side I've just got a plain colour. That's quite nice and you're really good if you've got double sided papers. Again, a lot of people don't like to use double sided. No, do they, they don't want to do that. They want to see both sides. This is a perfect technique to do that with. But if you don't have double sided papers, then obviously you can use one side of, of, of your standard printed papers, then ink on the back of them or bring in something like the Gilded Touch True. or Pixie Sparkles, any of them products, add in your own background. It doesn't have to start off as a double-sided paper. We're then going to bring in the half shapes and we're going to start placing these down. So I want this to cut out as a freestanding item. If I didn't, I wouldn't have to use the outside edge. We're then going to place the next one down and we're making sure that we're roughly in a straight line. That'll make our job a little easier. And then we're going to bring in the next one down on top of that. Now I'm going to bring in some masking tape. This is our woodwear stencil tape and I'm just going to put a line of this across in place okay. to hold that one down. I'm just going to move that large one down slightly so we've got a bit more of a frame there. And we'll try and anchor that into place. And we're going to go up with these as well. And then we're going to bring these onto our plates. So I was thinking we would go that way so I don't have to move them. So is that something you'd move recommend them. with these ones is lay out all the dies that once and then tape I them down. Do. I'm terrible. I know they say not to, don't they? A lot of people tell you like one die at a time. Yeah. And, and I probably should tell you the same because if they do move and they overlap, then it can damage your die. And you can absolutely do them one at a time. There's no reason why you couldn't. And you might even end up slightly more precise. So, you know, this is another one. I'm so good at this. I, I tell you all these things that I do that you shouldn't. Um, but if you, if you like me and slightly rebellious, then, then feel free to do the wrong. I'm the same. I think we all are as well here in well, I've taped it down companion. quite nicely. That's on top of a magnetic so sheet. So, you know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm trying to edge my bets here that nothing's going to move too much. Um, but, yeah, it, it's different when you're at home and they're yours. So, so be careful. I'm now just going to take off my masking tape. But good catch there, Craig, because I had forgot to remind the world, don't ever follow me. <laughs> 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 they never actually do as I do. It's always quite lethal. So I'm just taking off my tape here and I'm removing the dies so that we can see that we've got back to our heart here. Now, of course, on our paper, we have the perfect aperture, and that's the joy of a nesting die. So if we did want to do this maybe in a different colour, so I've got a pink one here, we could bring that in and we could place that back into the same size aperture. So you could. You could make up your own sort of backgrounds in that sense, if you wish to. But we're going to go off of one of these. It doesn't matter which one we go with. They're both going to work in the same way. So we're just going to start off, and we're going to bring back that largest shape, and we're going to fold that over. And then we're going to go down, we're going to skip that one, we're going to go down to this one, and we're going to fold that one over as well. And we can leave them either up in the air, like this. We can use a bone folder to go and put them neatly down in place. Okay. So you can add some foam pads under here if you prefer, or if you wish to, and this is quite a nice little trick. If you cut a piece of paper, just like a little off cut, and fold this into a small little L shape, and then add some glue on one side and the other, so I'll just bring this in, place that there, place a bit of glue on there, uh -huh. and then we can tuck this underneath that <gasps> layer, and then you can place that as far back as you want it to be, and glue it. Now you will have to hold it for a second, but it will keep a rounded effect to it. 
I'm being a bit quick here with my release, sorry. Jean E Us. But you can hold that there, and then they will keep more of a rounded edge to them. My glue's not playing ball at the moment. What a get great tip. It just means that instead of having the square of a foam pad, you can have a more rounded edge yeah. to what you've created. So if you want to do it that way, you can do, or you can just leave them freestanding, hold them down with a foam pad, as I say, up to you. We'll do the pink one because we've got that one to hand as well. So you could certainly see how you could do the pink and blue. You could even nest these together if you wanted to. Maybe if you were doing a gender reveal card, perhaps, with the pink and Great the blue, or a new idea. baby card, or twins, or something along them lines, or they could all be the same colour whatever you wish, but yeah. just as an idea for you. So we're going to pop these to one side and we're going to bring in the bits that I've already created. So if I can get these out of the way, here we go. We have our card blank we're going to work on top of. I've already gone ahead and I've used the middle of my piece of paper so nothing is wasted. We've taken obviously our heart out the centre here and then we've layered that onto some cream card. We're going to place that down onto our card and then we're going to bring in our next layer and we're going to take off our foam tape from this one. One of those on die sets for me, Jamie, it's going to be really therapeutic to fold them over. For me, I would probably cut a few of them at once and have an idea of what I'm going to be doing, but cut a few of them at once and just sit and fold them over. Depending on your how you wish to use them, especially like with your, if you've got a newer, my one's got a bit of a, a wonky magnetic mount. I'm blaming Debbie. I'm she blaming Debbie. She used these, didn't she? So we're going to go with that. Um, but if you've got a nice flat one of these, there's no reason why you can't bring in your dies and place them down. And you can use one of the lines. So if I bring this in here, this will give you a good idea. And we can bring these in and we can place them onto a line. You can use that grid in the background to make sure you're all in the right place. And we're bringing our third one as well. Place that against the line. And then you can cut as many of them as you want to. Nothing's going to move no. if you've got a nice flat mat. Yeah. And that's a, another way to do it. Really so if good. you do want to recreate them, if you're doing wedding invites and you're thinking, well, I want to do 50, yeah. 60, 200 of them, that's a quick way to do it. That's it. It's about, the, it's about the speed, but still getting that incredible look. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and I've got a white layer, which again is cut with my largest die. And I'm going to bring in the blue one and we're going to place this over the top. Just put some wet glue on the reverse of it so it can go down and stay in place. And then I've infilled here. I love these little crystals, but you end up with so many little random sizes left. Mm -hmm. So I've just gone ahead and infilled with lots of random blue little diamantes. And again, you could have done them in different colours. You could have done a bit of a rainbow effect through these if you wish. And we're going to place that onto there. Then I do love a flower, so I've gone ahead and any, any flower could work for this. It doesn't have to be the one I'm using. But we're going to bring in a couple of random flowers, place them down in the side here. A couple of little leaves as well, so we'll add in some glue and bring in those leaves just to decorate around our heart. We'll do one at the top and one at the bottom. Such a and striking gonna, card. Again, I went for a little die cut word, so I was going to have love go on here. But again, we've got our lovely um, wordies, so let's go for a you and me instead. And we'll put that up there, because that's off of one of our wordy sheets. That's the everyday ones. So again, that'll give you a just slightly different version of how that's going to look for you. Jamie, that is absolutely gorgeous. And I, I know, obviously, you've, you've done the mats and layers beforehand, say we're building the flowers, but even if you get your layers done beforehand and then start to assemble, that was still relatively uh, straightforward. In I creating swear, that nothing I do is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite honest. <laughs> I don't do complicated. Yeah, nothing uh -huh. that's too hard. Yeah. Well, and to <laughs> reiterate what uh, Debbie said earlier on, you know, we've got an incredible design team that do our finished samples and we're very, very lucky. Jamie does all his own. There all is the a ones. few. I did want to say that. There is a few today. That yeah. lovely hexagon one you held up a little while ago. Uh, or octagon. See, I'm doing it already. I told you I didn't know the difference. That one is done by one of our design team. They've got their names oh, on the back Diane. of them, so I don't want to take credit. We do have a lovely design team who do do a few of them for us. Yeah. But when we do a show, we have to make 35 make cards. Yeah. And especially if it's a product that we launch, we do even more than that. Because especially if it's me, because I get a bit carried away. So about 40 or 50 of the cards you will see today are from yeah. me, from the in and out collection. Yeah. But there are quite a few that I've been done for me. Brilliant, yeah, and we are very lucky as if we have a product launch, we have our design team that do the finished samples, so we are so, so lucky. So just a big shout out to, to Jamie and Gwen, but then also their design team as well that do them. Right, hearts, 10% gone already. 
10% gone of the in and out four piece heart. So I tell you what, let's have a look at a few ideas. So this is using the heart collection. So I'm only going to show you just a couple for the time being so you can get some idea. So we've got the circles, we've got the hearts, we've got the octagon. Now look at this one here. Isn't that spectacular? Is that uh, Janice that made it? Jamie? Oh, that's me. I'm terrible oh Jamie, sorry. <laughs> if you can't read it, right? Sorry, <laughs> Janice. Janice, that's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to, me and Jamie, we've uh, become really good friends over the last, you know, set, few weeks, few months or that. I have to say, Jamie, it doesn't even look like Jamie. I don't, my handwriting is it's very swirly, my handwriting. Janice. You can show them, I don't mind, Craig. Let's but do I it. have very swirly, I don't know what's right on the back of it, but um, my handwriting is very swirly. And I always write on them at the end, so I've got like 45 of them to go through. And the writing changes with every one of them, and the letters just get, well, more and more mix up. But yeah, I can certainly see a Janice there. Yeah. There yeah. You if you can't read it, Craig, it's me. It's you. Everyone else writes their names so you can actually read it. It's oh, fine. bless you. Good sport, Jamie. Thank you. And then here's another one as well, still from this one set as well. Just a few ideas. If they still uh, are going to be in stock throughout today, we'll keep showing you more and more samples because we will be seeing Jamie again within uh, Craft Along and then Cartload as well. So there we go. Yes, 10% of the heart collection has gone already. Ready. Want something else? Well, we've got some stencils, new stencils to us at Crafters TV, also from uh, Jamie. These are stencil duo, six pack when it comes to these ones here. And these ones have got stitched line. So these ones have got stitched line or perforation line, whichever way that you want to call it. I've already got loads of ideas that I'm thinking of from these ones. Straight off the bat, I'm thinking with my, my pokey tool and my uh, stamping mat and uh, piercing little holes all the way through into my cardstock. But Jamie, the other ways that you could be making or using these ones, there's quite a lot, isn't there? There is. These are another one of them products that I think once you've got hold of them, you're going to be shocked in how many ways you can use them. Now, all three of the shapes that we've done the stencils for do coordinate perfectly with the in and out dies. Brilliant. So if you wish to use the dies to cut them out as frames, or you just like a border going around the edge of your topper elements, or you want to have that detail running around your frame, you can do. So everything will coordinate perfectly for these three shapes. One thing I will be honest with you with completely, because I think it's nothing worse than buying a product and thinking, it doesn't do what I expected it in that format. These hubs are very detailed, so when you're bringing inks to them, do use a blending brush. A okay. smoothie or a tool tends to just glide over the top of them. So a blending brush is your friend if you wish to use inks. When it comes to texture paste, misters, pixies, anything like that, no reason why they're not going to work perfectly for you, but just be aware them holes are very delicate. Got you. Thank you so much for Jamie. There we go. That is your six piece there where you've got is your uh, you've got your circles, you've got your squares, and you've also got your rectangles as well. Twenty pound twenty five or twenty five dollar sixty five. You're going to get ten percent even on these ones as well. But if you are platinum, that is going to come down to sixteen pound twenty or twenty dollars fifty two. Let's just quickly show you as well a few finished samples uh, that we can see here as to what you can be doing with these ones. These are fab as well. As uh, Jamie was saying, working in conjunction with the dies. Let's bring these ones in. These are beautiful, Jamie. Really, really beautiful. The idea of showing you how the topper elements that you can get with a lot of pads will fit nicely inside them, and it also gives you the ability to use your papers with them too. Yeah, yeah. Both of these have been made by Janice, just to let you know. <laughs> So I'll let you know there. There you go. So that one there is your uh, stencils, your duo stencils as well. Right. Do you want to see the heart collection? Let's have a look at these ones. So let's show you the actual dies here. So this is going back to the in and out, the four piece. So let's show you the pack. I'm going to show you the packaging as well as the dies. And then what we can do is we'll show you the boards as well. So a few different concepts. So you've got your love hearts. This one here is your seven piece die set. If I turn that around, this is where you've got a concept that Jamie was just showing you beforehand. So you've got your, you know, 
Martin Laird dies, Neston die, whichever form you want to call them. But this is where you can be doing your in and out or your full back, isn't it, Jamie? Absolutely, yeah. So it gives you the most freedom we could possibly give you with a set of dies to be as creative as you wish to. Yeah. But that doesn't have to mean they're bamboozling either. No. I'd like you to just remember that you can use them very plain and simply. It doesn't have to be complicated. Yeah, yeah. And what is lovely, because they are the, the in and out, and you could then be folding the layers back as Jamie was showing you. Sometimes if it's a concept like that, where you've got the half dies, they would only give you the half dies. Absolutely, yes. Which completely. there is still a number of things you can do with that yep. one, but because you've put in the layer and die with them as well, just opens up more scope. I wanted you to have everything you needed. So the second you've got them, you can be creative. And I didn't want you to have to go and buy another set or already have a set that works with them. It's got everything you need to get creative yeah, straight away. That's brilliant. So good when you have that one. Really, really is. Same there with the rectangles here. So you've got your layer and dies, but then what you've also got is your in and out. Going in now into our next one. So that one there, just to say with the rectangle, that was your 13 die set. This one here being the octagon here. Got that one right, because I looked at the bottom of the packaging. <laughs> you can see here, a couple of ideas on the front. There is your die set in the middle as well. Actually, you, for somebody, that says spider web to me. Very I've good. Why not? Look. Absolutely. Yeah. Halloween cards are coming up, exactly. aren't they? Exactly, they will be. And yeah. this is one of the beauties of having what I class as essential shapes. Yes. This, this whole collection to me is like a foundation. It level. is, isn't it? You could use this with any collection you've got. You could use it with any theme, any occasion. These are just the bits you're going to work on top of every single time you make a card. Absolutely, for sure. You really, really are. Circles there, 13 die sets that we can see there. Such handy, even just the layering dies on their own. You know, I know I'm saying layering dies, you know, nesting dies mats and layer dies, whichever way that you refer to them as, but even just them on their own, fabulous. But you've got your half dies as well, where you can do all these incredible concept techniques that Jamie was showing you as the in and out slash the full batch. So that is your heart collection there. So what I'm going to go is get my board set. So, right. Okay, doc, thank you so much for that one, Johnny. So just to let you know, straight hot off the press, I want you to check out your emails because we are sending out that peel and reveal newsletter code again. Absolutely. A few of you have uh, been in touch just to say, you've not got it. So what I want you to do is check your inbox as well. Now, if you're like me and you're not really savvy about email and that, you just check your inbox. You didn't know that you had a junk, you had a delete, you had a bin, you had all these other ones, check your inbox. If it's not there, please check your junk. That's your junk email box. Check that one there. You might find it in there. Gosh knows what's in my junk email box, I'm telling you. But check your junk email, your folder. So that is uh, being sent right out, uh, right hot off the press as we speak right now. So a few of you are having issues saying you've not received it. So just make sure that, of course, you are subscribed to the newsletter, which is free. You'll find the link across on our website. But we are sending out the peel and reveal code to everyone once again. So check it out for your code to get 10% off any crafting goodies. It excludes the sun, summer, sea, sand, sail, which isn't called that, but something along the lines. I could have got away with that. Could have got away with that one. Uh, Jamie, save me. Save me. Okay, this is the one that we're going to do next. We're going to play around with the stencils because I want you to see how easy and fun they are to work with. Very, very simple card. Nothing complicated with this one either. Just some blending and stenciling. So what we're going to do to begin with is I was a little bit worried that I might have made you feel you can't use inks with these. So I've got an ink pad. I've got a blending brush. I'm just going to do a very quick bit with this. And I'm going to take my piece of white card and I'm going to lay my stencil on top. Absolutely hold it down with some tape if you wish to or a magnetic board or any of the other ways that you place your stencils down properly. But for speed, we're just going to go through with a little bit of ink and show you that you can absolutely create your backgrounds with these so it's as simple as that you know nothing complicated as I mentioned I do find a blending brush is a lot easier to get through the very delicate holes you will find on your stencils yeah so when we come on to using them with texture paste this is a background I've already worked on I've just done a little bit of um, blending with inks but this could be a patterned paper it could be anything you want to work on I'm going to take my stencil I'm going to go slightly off to one side here and we're going to bring in some texture paste. Again, this could be any style of texture paste. I'm going to use some of our Cosmic Shimmer texture paste in our sparkle range. Oh, beautiful. And we're just going to go on with some gold. I'm going to take the texture paste and pop it straight through the top of the stencil. 
I bought you my glossy glazes once when I was here, or, or not long ago when we were here. Um, these work perfectly again with the stencils. So if you've got the glossy glazes and you're thinking, well, I'd like a really subtle shimmer, yeah. there's no reason why you couldn't use those as well. Okay, doc. So we're just going to carry on, go through all of the available holes on top of the card. We can take all of this excess away, put it back into the jar, and then just pop your stencil into some water quite quickly so that we don't damage the stencils. But there is our stencil effect. Now, as you can see, we've got these, and I don't know how well you're going to pick up on the depth of them, but these are made out of quite a nice thickness mylar. Oh, yeah. So you've got quite a nice depth to these, and that comes in really handy because I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you wish to die cut through this or with this, you're going to, sorry, we're going to do that after okay. we have done our stenciling. So I don't need to die cut for this card, but I'm going to bring in the, the piece I've already done, this one nice and dry, ready to work with. And we're going to bring in a couple of the circles. Now, obviously you'd be using these on full panels, but I wanted to show you how these dies will stay neatly in each of those places. So the second you want to start creating oh, your areas, wow. they will stay there. And these little pieces create little walls, so nothing particularly moves. So even when you come to putting them through your machine, you don't have to worry about them moving too much. It's Brilliant. just another way to, to make everything easy yeah. for you, because that little texture paste wall is going to help you. So we'll take this, and we're going to take our card. So and we've got a piece of gold mirror card already with a mat on top of it. We're going to place that down as our first layer on our card. And we're just going to go for a small slim line card this time, nothing at all complicated. I'm going to place that one down. We're then going to bring on our piece of our texture paste. So I used the pierced stencil from in the circle sets for the one I'd used with the paste. Right. This one is created with the stitched. So again, variations. And then I was going to bring in a little gold die cut to match my layers, but again, why not use our wordy? So I'm going to just use the good luck wordy and I'm going to place that on here instead. And again, add flowers, add more embellishments. Maybe somebody's moving and you want to put a little house on with that good luck. You know, there's a lot of ways you could dress that up further, but it's just a quick, simple card for you to create very easily. Jamie, that is so fab. Thank how you. effective is that? I love how you're able to create that with those stencils as well. Really, really handy ones to have. Just goes to show how you can still be making cards using stencils such as, such as those ones there with the little wordies as well. So with the stencils there, £20.25 or $25.65, you've got your saving of 10%. If you are platinum, that's going to be £16.20 or $20.52. Make sure you check them ones out across on our website as well as everything else that Jamie has uh, shown us just within this, well, last 50 minutes is going to be popping up throughout today as well as well as across on our website from creative expressions you've seen some of the pace in that that jamie's been using check the website out we've not been uh, focusing or showcasing these ones within today's shows there is still so much more from creative expressions uh, across on our website as well so check out and uh, take advantage of your uh, peel and reveal code that's going to be coming throughout your newsletter as well so just keep checking your emails Kadok. Demo of the show, righty oh. Demo of the show where we can't find Debbie's. Is it, is it, I know our, our, our table is just there. Jamie, would you like to show your card? And Absolutely. I'll just have a look at the I like uh, this. I table. might win. You <laughs> can't well. find them. <laughs> We've got card number one. That's the first one I did. Then Fab. we'll move on to our lovely fold back card. This was card number two, to give you an idea of that one. And then we have our very simple third card, which is the one we just created using our inks yeah. and stencils. Do you, do you know what? I, I, since it's my last day, just uh, before I take a little bit of a break, I'm going over real here and I'm going to say, if she's not left her cards, then we can't include them. So it's all down to oh, you, I Jamie. I like this. I can't lose then, can It's all I? down Brilliant. to you. So <laughs> it's Jamie's for the win for Wake Up Call. Is it one, is it two, or is it three? The choice is yours. So get your votes in right now. Right, we're going to have a look at some of these votes. Let's just have another quick look at the comments as well. Um, Pammy on YouTube is saying a Gildan touch. I love them all. Lenny is saying those Gildan waxes look like lip gloss. I bet there's a few mishaps after a shandy or two. Yes, definitely don't use them as lip gloss. 
Not at all. Keep them for your cars. Don't waste them. Uh, Pammy on YouTube is saying, I'm intrigued by these dies. They are fancy layering swing cars. You could be using them in some sorts of ways. Hopefully now you've got some ideas. We'll show you some finished samples in a moment. Uh, we've got now one uh, for you, Jamie. Sue King on YouTube is saying, could you use Jamie's dies to make the old Dutch harmonica folding cards? I don't know what that is. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest here because I always think honesty is the best policy. We used to sell the templates to make them about 18 years ago. Okay. And do you know I can't remember what they looked like and why? Yeah. I, I, I can remember the templates. I think they were blue in a yellow packet. But I cannot remember what you did with them or why. I have no memory. I don't remember yesterday. But in the break, I will have a little look and see if I can work out what they do and if we could do them with the dyes. And I'll answer you when I come back. That's okay, great. Fab, thank you for that. I've uh, got Lorraine on Facebook saying, dang it, this show is cutting into my July 12th craft day spending budge budget. You've got to do it. You've absolutely got to do it. Rhiannon on Facebook, I really love the scalloped edge card base Jamie is using with his cards. Uh, how did you do it? Scalloped edge card base. I'm going to be honest. I, honestly, best policy. Yeah. It's out of a packet. Out, out of a packet. Yeah. <laughs> so again, I just get them in packs of I think about 40. Yeah. Yeah. So we are very packs. lucky here in the UK. We do have a big selection of pre-card blanks, sizes and shapes. I know you guys stateside are a bit limited, but yeah, anything like that. If I do tend to use, I'm exactly the same as Jamie. Mindset come out of a pack. Uh, I don't know if there's dies out there that would do it big enough, but ours are just out of a pack. I'm sure maybe you guys states, I don't know, check Amazon or something like that. Well, I'm not sure they you know. We, we don't have them in stock, but check them out just so you know that's where Jamie got his. Um, showed, uh, for Sue, we showed the actual dies a minute ago. Uh, Rachel is saying, see, sun and sail. Thank you, Rachel. Yeah, <laughs> Like Debbie, I'll get it tomorrow when I'm not here. Um, the stenciling is so pretty. And Mary Beth is saying, beautiful card, Jamie. And the just. Thanks very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Really, really are beautiful. Right, star collection. Let's have a look at this one here. So, going to go in with the Star Collection. This one, 10% has gone from this one here. This is your in and out four-piece Star Collection. Let's start with the Star, as that's what it is titled. But we've got the Star 5 die set within this one here. So what you've got is your uh, layering Star die, but then you've got your additional uh, half die, so to speak, where you can do the in and out, the full back concept that Jamie's been showing you throughout Wake Up Call. So you're getting that heart. Everything here I'm showing you £50.99 or $85.99 with a 10% saving. We've then got our hexagon. So within the hexagon, we've got their layer and dies that opens up a wide variety of different concepts and styles that you can get creative with but you've got the half die as well to do the full back what we've then got is the oval so the oval you've got the 13 dies within that one so you've got the option for using them as layer and dies but then you've also got the half full dies as well use them separate or together they work an absolute treat and then last but by no means least 13 dies within this one you've got your squares so such handy dies to have within your crafty stash but then you can do different techniques such as these ones here so the finished samples i'm showing you are all done from this collection i just showed you a moment ago i mean look at that one jamie how bright vibrant is that on the backdrop that's that some of our caught in crystal technique is it really just onto acetate and yeah. then obviously framed in the hole it's very easy to do and then still with the star but this is actually doing your fold back for a technique yeah exactly just one set fold it back fill it full of crystals job done Dot, job done beautiful we've got our ovals as well we do all love a penny slider here at crafters companion why not do your own we've got our hexagon as well how beautiful are these whether you're going monochromatic whether you're going bright whether you're going down the pastel tones with the fold back there these are absolutely beautiful I adore that one there this is gorgeous vibrant. isn't it i can't remember the name i'm sorry i'm useless for names who made it great so that one was made by Christine Smith. Oh, that's our lovely lady, Christine. She makes amazing cards. I love the way she's embossed this. So yeah. after she's cut it, she's put it through an embossing folder and then she's used our Cosmic Shimmer products to make it all nice and shimmery and sparkly. Yeah, very and that's textured. gorgeous. And layered up as well. Last but by no means from this set here. I mean, look at that one as well. What dad wouldn't love that one? 
absolutely beautiful that like you can see within that one there. So that one there, that is from the Star, Star Collection of the In and Out. Right, let's have a look. We saw, we have got, oh, we do have a winner. Oh, we do have a winner. The winner of demo of the show, which is definitely going to be Jamie, is number two. Oh, number two. I thought it might be. I, I thought it might be that one. It? Thank you very much, all of you. That's lovely. Thank I you. I thought it might very well be that one as well. Uh, right to you. So we're going to take a little bit of a break before we come back myself and Demi for the Gnome Craft Along. Jamie's going to be back at four o'clock here at UK time. Jamie, what can we expect at 4 We're going to have a whole hour full of gilded touch. Ooh. So we're going to be looking at how we can use this over embossing, how we can paint with it, how we can make blended backgrounds. You're going to love them. Honestly, I fell in love with them. I, when they come out, I was a little bit like, do I need these? And then the more I've played with them, I have fell in love with them. They work on porous surfaces and non-porous surfaces. You're going to be blown away. So hopefully you'll enjoy that show. Brilliant, I know we will do it. I can't wait to see that one, that's for sure. Head across onto the website, get a head start. If you've maybe just joined us now towards the end of Wake Up Call, uh, go back afterwards. You can see what Debbie done with the Gnome Collection. Also see what Jamie has done with the in and out as well as uh, showing you the Gilded Touch as well. We are going to be back here in the UK, 2 p.m. Uh, or for you guys stateside, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Pacific Time, where we're going to have a two-hour craft along with the Summer Gnome Collection with Debbie. And then, as we say, Jamie's going to be back at 4 o'clock UK time with another hour when it's all going to be about that gorgeous gilded touch we can tell that Brent's back in the building by the way as well after his uh, little summer holidays it's looking very very tanned check out your uh, your newsletter check out your email so that you can get your peel and reveal code so you can get 10 percent off website is always the best place to go for incredible offers incredible deals it is thursday so even though we've got jamie and creative expressions where i'll say shop ahead certainly with that gilded touch shop ahead for sure so that you've got it it's secure you can then watch uh, jamie show you lots of incredible things but with it being thursday and cartload i will always tell you shop ahead go across onto the website shop the day you can also shop the show if you want but shop the day everything you're going to see there pop into your basket get it checked out and pop in that peel and reveal code the code once you get a hold of it is only going to last until 11 59 uh, wherever you are in the world and it's one use per customer so make sure you get that use and get your discount as well it all adds up it all comes into your crafty pot where you can then spend and treat yourself more and more and more go and get yourself a cup of tea uh, maybe your breakfast your lunch your tea we'll be back just shortly for craft along see you then <laughs>